Now. <laughs> Good morning, preschool friends. It's a little bit after 9.30, and I'm going to ask my trustee, Allie, who's my second oldest daughter, to kind of move things around to show her to show everybody our empty preschool room. We love our preschool room, but it's not nearly as cool without you in it. So Allie, like just move the thing around, show them everything. <laughs> and there's Miss Barbie. <laughs> and the lights are on in the gym and there's nobody out there. So I came in and Miss Beth and Miss Barbie and Miss Katie were playing dodgeball. And Miss Beth had Miss Barbie in a headlock and then Miss Katie went and jumped on them both and she was the champion. So I need to know who's out there watching. So let me know if you're online watching this before we start the story. So Alethea, can you tell me who's on there? Just mm -hmm. tell us your name. You have Riley. Hi, Riley. Who are you, Riley? Tell Mama who you are. Kenzie. Kenzie, who are you? Ellie. Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Who are you? I don't know the parents. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> Miss Barbie's going to help us out with figuring out who it is that's watching because Oliver. I... Oliver, hi Oliver. Tell your mom who you are. Anybody else? Anybody else out there in Facebook land? Listen, we're so sad that you don't get to be with us today. We miss you a lot. And we want you to know that it's okay for you to be sad, but we also want you to know that uh, you need to do a good job helping mom and dad and brothers and sisters um, while we just kind of wait until we can come back to preschool. But we thought we would read the next chapter in the Jesus Storybook Bible. This one is called Running Away. Jesus told this story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now one day, the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad around telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling my fun, the boy thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. His father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay, so he gives his son what his son wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And everything's wonderful and everything's perfect for a little while. He can go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants, be whoever he wants. He is the boss. He is free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart. But then he just eats more or drinks more or buys more clothes or toys or goes to more parties and that sad feeling goes away. <gasps> What's that? But soon all his money runs out and so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. One day he is so hungry and so desperate he even tries some piggy food. What am I doing, he says suddenly, as if he has woken from a nightmare. He spits, yuck, all of it, ick, out of his mouth. My father is rich, and here I am, in a pigsty, eating piggy food. He wipes his mouth and dusts himself off. I'm going home, he says. As he starts for home, though, 
he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been so bad. He won't want me for his son anymore. So he practices his I'm sorry speech. All this time, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on his front porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving him. He longs for the sound of his boy's voice. He can't be happy until he gets him back. The sun is still a long way off, but his daddy sees him coming. What will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown, shout, that'll teach you, and just you wait, young man. No, that's not how the story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap in the hedge, up the road, before his son can even begin his I'm sorry speech. His dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like so we could know however far we run, however well we hide, however lost we are, it doesn't matter because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them. I wish you all could be with us here today, but it's cool that we get to do this on Facebook. So we all miss you, we all love you, and uh, we can't wait uh, to hopefully see you all in a few weeks. Have a great Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, tell them that we'll be on later. Yes, and Miss Barbie says you'll be on uh, Facebook Live. They'll be on Facebook Live later for Circle Time. So everybody stay well, and uh, everybody trust God. He loves us. Have a great day.